In this video, I want to discuss a new news article that came out from Forbes magazine. Now, this is coming from Forbes, but this is based off of research that has been done through LinkedIn. Uh, LinkedIn has released a report as well as a new listing, and that's what we're going to be addressing as far as these are the most important, the biggest in-demand skills that recruiters, that hiring managers are looking for. And of course, number one is AI literacy. There are a number of other very important in-demand skills here that we'll also talk about, but I want to very much focus on AI literacy. So this skill of AI literacy is something that goes across the board. So all industries are looking for this and it's becoming that much more in demand as far as understanding that this comes from, from LinkedIn. And this is based off of their research, looking at all the profiles that they have within their, their group, within their website. And how many, how many of those profiles are there? There's over a billion different profiles from around the world. So putting that all together, they've analyzed it and they see that this is the number one in-demand skill that is growing and growing. Now we have to understand, well, well, why is this? Why is AI literacy so important? Well, there's a number of reasons. The first one is that this is an in-demand skill because this is what the, the, the different groups, the different companies, the different organizations want. So in order for us to be competitive, we have to have that up there. So it's, it's not just a matter of having an AI literacy skill on our resume or on our profile because we want to sort of stand out. But the thing is, so many other people are doing that, that we need it just to be competitive, just to be competitive because this is something that, hey, is so in demand that more and more people are doing it as well. So that's the first one, of course, across all sectors. And that's the big thing to understand here is that there's more and more businesses that are starting to invest in AI. There's more businesses, companies, organizations that are starting to integrate AI into their overall processes that they're looking for people that have at least some, some experience using AI, some skills and understanding what it is and how to apply it. So they're looking for that when they go to hire people. So that's why it's another really important reason why, why it's up there. And it's something that, that we definitely need to take into account and put that in there for ourselves as well as for students that we might have, for people that we're helping. This is an in-demand skill. Now, there's more reasons here. Another big thing is that lots of different businesses are also looking to hire based off of skills. So yes, education is always going to be important. That's regardless. That, that, that will always be a prime indicator. But additionally, they're looking for those skills. So they're wanting to see that that skill is on there. If this is part of the job description, then that's going to be a key word, a key phrase that they're going to be looking for. And we have to remember that most companies now, bigger companies, they're using AI to screen your resume. So that's going to be something that, that, that'll be part of that. Plus, if I'm a hiring manager and I'm looking for that, I'm going to be looking specifically for that terminology. So that's another reason why it needs to be on there. Now, taking that idea even further, it's going to be more and more important for us to highlight what type of skill do we have. So it's not enough to just say ChatGPT skills. It's going to be important, especially when we're talking about a resume or even on the profile, is that it's not just about, hey, here's a skill. You know, here's the keyword. That's it. No, remember, hiring managers are looking for accomplishments. Well, what can you do with this? What have you done with this? So it's a matter of putting down that, yes, you have this type of training. You've learned about ChatGPT. You've learned about AI literacy and how to use all sorts of different AIs. But then what have you also accomplished? Oh, I've been able to improve processing at my workplace by using AI components. We've increased it by 10%, something like that. I've been able to use AI to assist me in writing business reports in order to give proper feedback, to help me organize information, that type of thing. So we want to have that type of description to help potential uh, recruiters or organizations that want to work with us to help them see that, yes, we have this capability and how we have it and what we can do with it. So those are important aspects there as well to, to put that in. So looking at that this list again, we see that, yes, AI literacy is for sure number one. So that's something to definitely focus on. But it doesn't end with just that, right? Because we see here on these 15 top in-demand skills that 
a lot of these still are very, very important human skills, right? Like number two, conflict mitigation. That is a powerful skill that we have to develop within ourselves. Adaptability, process optimization, innovative thinking, innovative creative thinking, that goes hand in hand. Public speaking, all of these have some different aspects as far as human skills, important human aspects that go along with that. Another important aspect that goes along with that AI literacy, but ties in with all those human other skills, is that we can use AI to help us with those other in-demand skills that they're looking for. So I can use AI to help me understand what are the important aspects of public speaking? What are the important aspects of emotional intelligence? How can I improve my creative thinking? All these things I can use AI to help me learn, to help me develop. And then once again, I can turn that into another aspect of how I am AI literate skills that I've developed because, hey, I can say that I've learned this and this and this, and I can put that within my profile and put that within my resume as well. So it's this sort of full circle that now we need to have AI literacy to help us to develop a lot of these other skills as well. And I can use that to my advantage. And by doing so, I'm improving my AI literacy, right? So you can see how this all go, comes together. So this is really important to, to develop our capabilities, to make us more competitive, to help us to stand out some more. But we really need to develop that AI literacy. This is why I recommend, uh, I have a playlist talking all about the different aspects of AI literacy, how this is important for everyone to develop, whether you're young or old, whether you're an instructor, whether you're a student, Everyone needs to develop these AI literacy skills. And this new report from Forbes, from LinkedIn, is really yet another indicator, yet another bit of evidence that shows that, yes, this is something that must be focused on, that must be developed, because it's so in demand, and it's something that's going to be needed in order for you to properly continue on with getting a good jobs, with employment, with joining different organizations. Because remember, LinkedIn is used in many different ways, yes, to get jobs, but also to, to network, to connect with other groups and, and research areas, and they're all going to be looking for these in-demand skills. So please develop AI literacy. Uh, that, that listing, the videos that I have dealing with AI literacy specifically, infographics, they're all connected there within the comments. So please look for that information. Please develop this within yourself, within students, within your friends and family. This can be done. We can get through this together because there are good resources there to help you to succeed. So Definitely use that to, to your advantage. Use AI to help learn more about AI. And together, we're all going to make education and move forward as a society that much more. But this is something that has to be worked on. And together, we can do it. And remember that learning is for life.